Joining us now to talk about that and of course the future of Indian hockey is the Indian hockey captain P.R. Srijesh. Srijesh, thanks so much for joining us and talking to NDTV. First up, of course, many, many congratulations for that fantastic win. Uh, it was, of course, a great triumph in Malaysia. Now, as the captain of the team and also a very key member of the current setup, how important or significant would you say this particular title win was? So it's uh, really happy uh, to win this uh, new cycle with a uh, win and definitely we want to show that okay, we, are, we are the champions in Asia and we are the better team and um, I, I think that is what we showed this, I mean, throughout this tournament we dominated the tournament I should say that I mean with, in seven matches we won six and we drew one match so definitely that uh, shows that yeah, we, are, we are the champions in Asia. And uh, secondary thing, uh, we we uh, we gone with a uh, young young bunch of players. So definitely, we showed that okay, we got a lot of uh, young uh, talented, but uh, who can perform well uh, in the uh, higher pressure matches. So that is that is uh, we seen in uh, the Pakistan uh, the the final match. Definitely, they came up with their uh, their maturity level and they showed their class. So definitely, that win uh, we win as a team for the core country. Right. I'm very glad, Srijesh, that you brought up the performance of the youngsters because that really was a big talking point throughout India's campaign in Malaysia this time around. In that context, you would say, especially the likes of Akash Chikte and Yusuf Afan, they were very, very good in the tournament. So definitely, uh, Agash done a wonderful job. Even even the final match, we considered two goals, but still he made some a couple of crucial saves. Definitely, that's uh, that's give the goalkeeper more uh, confidence to face uh, more more tough matches. And Avan is one of the uh, skillful player uh, in the in the camp. So he he got his opportunity to show his uh, show, I mean, showcase his uh, talent. And definitely, I think he succeeded. Uh, yeah, mistakes will be there. That's for sure because uh, experience matters for players to uh, do better things on the field. Definitely uh, with the experience, Afan will come up with a, uh, with a uh, what to say, the upcoming talent for us. Right, of course, the, the bench strength of Indian hockey in the men's department, of course, looks very, very good currently, Srijesh. Now, let's talk about something that the Indian team has struggled with traditionally. In the past, what we've seen is that there are mainly two problems that continue to plague Indian men's hockey. One, of course, the penalty corner conversions and also, secondly, conceding late goals. How well would you say is the team managing to fix those problems and deal with the pressure? Uh, definitely, uh, we, we are having one of the best penalty corner uh, batteries, but yeah, sometimes th uh, some uh, things uh, change. You know, the only thing that we knew that the uh, the drag flickers, you know, this time uh, uh, Rupinder scored around 11 goals in the penalty corners. We got around 20 penalty corners. And second thing, the, the least, I mean, in the last moment, we are conceding the goal. And uh, in this tournament, I should say that, okay, this, uh, this, this entire episode changed the other way. We considered early goal, but still when we were down, we came back with the uh, uh, goals and we came, we won the match. So definitely that shows that somewhere we are uh, showing the quality uh, of a mental strength. And definitely we improved in that in a, in a long way. Right. Also, Srijesh, another big talking point, of course, when it comes to India's campaign in the Asian Champions Trophy that you won was, of course, the fact that you beat Pakistan, not just once, but twice. First in the round-robin stage and then again in the big final. Now, with things the way they are between the two countries politically, India has, of course, off late been beating Pakistan in big matches. But the way things stand between the two countries, would you say that the players find it difficult to control their emotions when they take the field against Pakistan? Is it, is it something that's changing now, perhaps under, un, under Roland Oltmans? Are you managing to channel your aggression better against the team that is tagged as the traditional arch rivals? Definitely, definitely. That is the that is the best part. What happened with this tournament? Even when we are under, I mean, like, no, we were uh, down with the score uh, score average. We used to, uh, we we stick with our plans. We uh, we take care of our, I mean, like, no, all the pressure which came on us, and we played our system in a well well manner. That's why we came up with the win. 
and definitely Pakistan match is emotional one and the it's a pressure one but the pressure always came from outside you know the medias and the the social media and the people the fans even from Pakistan they used to come and there will be a lot of positive comments there will be a lot of negative comments so the emotional factor nev never affect us so the players shows that maturity to handle the pressure in a positive way so the tournament always turn into a, a, a winning one for us right also Shrijesh, you know looking back before this tournament one rather disappointing loss for team india uh, recently was of course the quarter final loss to belgium uh, in the 2016 olympics how difficult was it for the entire unit to bounce back hard from that rather heartbreaking loss Definitely, that was a, a disappointed moment for us. But I think not the quarterfinals. Uh, I was disappointed with the match with Canada where we drew the match and we, we missed the opportunity to play with uh, Spain in the quarterfinals. But still, everyone knew that we were, we were a better side to, uh, we could have win something much better than that. But uh, uh, yeah, the way we practiced, the way we effort, I mean, they put effort to uh, make it to the Olympics. So, you know, uh, to build a new team that was uh, huge and uh, from there you you couldn't achieve that then that disappointed affected everyone a lot. When in the camp happened, we tried to avoid talking about that incident but still we learned a lot of things from that, the Olympics games and we tried to rectify the mistakes, what we considered, what we made uh, during that tournament and we trained a lot on that. So, uh, and a mean a win uh, uh, in the Asian Champions Trophy was really required required for us because uh, we need to stay as a Asian champions. Definitely, secondary thing, the hangover of the loss in Olympics games, we can wash out with this uh, win over uh, Pakistan this final. Right. Also, Shrijesh, you know, apart from, of course, the players who took to the field, one big architect of India's triumph in Malaysia was, of course, the coach Roland Altmans. Everyone is talking about him. His contract has now been formally extended till the next Olympics in 2020. You would say that's a good decision? Definitely, uh, because if you, as long as if you are staying uh, longer with a coach, uh, that is good for us. Uh, I think players are very comfortable with him. That comfort zone is always helping us to perform well on the field. Because if you, your relationship is good with your coach, then definitely he can, uh, he always point out, he can easily point out your mistakes and he can rectify you in a better way. Uh, so, uh, that's a good move and he is one of the experienced, he is one of the best coach in this world. So, we are having him with us. So, that is definitely going to help us to perform and uh, climb over a uh, world ranking position in a, in a well manner. Alright, Shrijesh, uh, one final question. The junior Indian hockey team, they are also doing rather well. They just won the Four Nations Invitational Tournament in Valencia. In that context, how good does the future of Indian hockey look according to you? Uh, uh, I should say that uh, Mr. Harindra Singh, he, was, he is the chief coach of Indian uh, Junior Hockey Team. He is working really hard to uh, build a team for 2016 Junior World Cup, which is going to happen in uh, UP. So definitely, his uh, uh, the players, the bunch of players are really good. Uh, they are really tough for the senior team because uh, you know once the Junior World Cup hap uh, happens, there are a lot of players are ready to move into the senior team they got that potential so uh, I, in this way we we can build up uh, the future uh, of indian hockey uh, i can i should i mean i know uh, as you said uh, the indian uh, future of the indian hockey is safe because uh, we we got a lot of talents and uh, we got a lot of good coaches who can uh, find out the potential from the villages well, that's great news, isn't it, Shrijesh, for Indian hockey and Indian hockey fans across the world, really. Better days ahead, clearly, for uh, the sport here in the country. Shrijesh, captain of the Indian men's senior hockey team, thank you so much for taking out the time and talking to us. Thanks so much. And again, many, many congratulations for that fantastic win in Malaysia.